The first step to joining your Google Classroom is creating your very own Gmail account. Because Google Classroom is part of Google, you need to have a Google email account or Gmail account. Remember, you should all have your own Gmail account. This will make it easier for teachers to know who you are and keep track of your progress. If you already have a personal Gmail account, skip ahead in the video to learn how to join your Google Classrooms. Now, if you're still here, that means you're ready to set up your very own Gmail account. So let's get started. Now, if you are using a computer browser or your phone browser, what you need to do is type accounts.google.com into your web browser. Or if you would prefer to use an app on your phone, you can go to the Google Play Store if you have an Android or the App Store if you have an Apple phone, search for Gmail and then download the app. Now, no matter what form you use, web browser or an app, now you will see something that looks like this. It will say, sign in, use your Google account. You wanna click on create account, and then you'll see for myself or to manage my business. You should select for myself. Next, you'll see this page. Now, let's talk about the usernames. An unprofessional username would be something like starpapa6344 at gmail.com. We want our usernames to be professional, not unprofessional. So here are some professional usernames. Usually they will be some version of your name. Usually that's best. For example, you can have first name dot last name or first initial dot last name. So for example, if my name was Mark Jacobs, some good usernames would be mark.jacobs444 at gmail.com or mjacobs444 at gmail.com. An example of a bad username would be kingmarkymarkya at gmail.com. Why is this bad? Well, imagine that you're applying and this is the email that you have to put on your application. Mark Jacobs 444 sounds a lot more professional than King Marky Mark yeah at gmail.com. The last part is a password. So let's go over what makes a good password. Good passwords usually include lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and maybe even symbols. So look at the example of a good password and then compare it to the bad password. Once you have finished and made all of the, once you have filled in all parts of this document, and, once you have filled in all parts of, once you have filled in your first name, last name, username, and typed your password twice, your next step is to click next. All right, that brings us to this page. You do not need a phone number nor do you need to put a recovery email address. However, you do need to put your birthday and your gender. When you are finished, click next. However, if you are under 13, you will need to type in your parents' email address, type it in and then click next. All right. At this point, you will get the privacy and terms. I strongly encourage you to read this carefully and take notes as you go. And when you are finished, at the very bottom, click I agree. And that's it, you have officially set up your very own Gmail account. And that's it, you have officially made your very own Gmail account. If you had a problem or you have any questions about the process, feel free to call us or from someone else's email account, email asap at abarsoschool.org. Now that we've set up our very own Gmails, let's go over how to set up our Google Classrooms. Now, just like before, there's two ways to do this. One, using your computer browser or a browser on your phone, and the other using apps. So let's start with computer browser. 
you have just made your email address. In your Gmail web page, look to the very top right of the page. You should see a gray circle with nine dots inside of it. Click that and you'll see this menu. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you wanna click on Classroom. If you wanna use an app instead, however, if you want to use the app instead, go to the Google Play Store for Android or the App Store for Apple, search for Google Classroom and download the app. From here on, the two pages you get will look very similar. On the computer browser on the left, make sure that in the gray box with the little man, it has your correct email address and then you wanna click continue. If you are using the app, it should look something like this. You wanna click get started and then most likely on the next page, it'll automatically sign you in with your email or it might ask you to type in your email address. All right, so you're in the Google Classroom. On the left is the computer browser version, on the right is the app version. It is the same step for both. Next, click on the plus signs. For both of them, it will make a small menu pop up. It will say join class and create class. Now what you want to do is click join class. Once you click join class, this box will pop up. It will say, ask your teacher for the class code, then enter it here. But what is this class code it's talking about? Well, check the Obarso ASAP newsletter for a chart that looks something like this. Now, in this example, it only has question marks. In the Obarso ASAP newsletter, this, in the Obarso ASAP newsletter, all of these boxes will be filled with the class codes for your particular grade. So for the purpose of practice, let's look at this column. We have sixth grade and there's a code. It says QXR7LYU. So, um, so let's do a practice. We don't have a sixth grade at a bar cell. So let's do a practice. We do not have a sixth grade at a bar cell, but let's pretend we did. And they only have to join one class. So we have the sixth grade column and there's only one code. It says QXR7LYU. Now what we need to do is copy and paste this code or write this code down. It's up to you. Copy and paste is probably easier, but if you'd rather write it down on a piece of paper, that's your choice. So now we go back to this. It says, ask your teacher for the class code, then enter it here. What you need to do is paste that code into where it says class code. So it should look like this, QXR7LYU, make sure it matches. And if it matches, you wanna click join. It will say joining dot, 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 and it will look gray for a little bit, but once it's finished, you will officially be in. Woohoo! All right, that was just one class. If you want to add more classes for the computer browser, you look at the top left of your page and you wanna click on the three lines. That'll bring up a side menu. And what you want to do is click on classes. And then from there, it'll take you back to the home page, and you repeat the process by clicking on the plus sign. For the app, it is a lot, lot easier. What you need to do is just click the plus sign and you're done. All right, by now you've set up your very own Gmail account and have added all of your Google classes to your Google Classroom. In the next video, we will have a Google Classroom walkthrough where we will show you how to use Google Classroom. You'll watch a... Mm. All right, by now you have set up your very own Gmail account and you should have added all of your Google Classrooms to your Google Classroom homepage. Now, in the next video, there will be a Google Classroom walkthrough where we will show you how to use Google Classroom. We'll show you how to watch a Barso ASAP videos inside Google Classroom, how to submit assignments, how to take quizzes, and much more.